people have said that I sound a bit like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am doing a video of me singing like Freddie Mercury. I want to break free! I want to break free! People have said that I sound like <laughs> an, an anime. <laughs> Hi! That's <laughs> just, that's borderline racist. <laughs> that's not that. borderline racist. Yeah. That's how anime sounds. What, me going, wrong? ching ching chong ching ching. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's, basic, it's basically what I was doing. It's absolutely fine. Oh, Christ. Oh, and welcome to TTT. <laughs> So how is your toe feeling, Simon? What's the verdict? Is it still like shit? Is it still bent the wrong way? It's fucked up. It's broken. I'm, I'm gonna die. If it is broken, there's a high chance of it. Get, well, not high chance, but it might get infected. It might get infected. How could it get infected? There's not a cut. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? It's internal bleeding. You have to have blood. Yeah, but where's the germs gonna come from? What inside of me? Yeah. Do you think I'm just like a big fucking bag of pus? <laughs> you fucking <laughs> bastard. How dare you? We all are. Everyone's a big bag of pus. No, no, I drink disinfectant to clear me out. Do you? Mm. Disinfectant. Mm. It's delicious. Cleans me... Cleans me right out. God. My chest is very hollow. Is that normal? It's probably where my heart used to be. <laughs> Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> You're like a silver bat. <laughs> <laughs> Simon is doing the mating call of the goon. Ha 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 Mummy, Mummy, can I listen to the yoke pod? Fuck off! Mummy, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, obviously that's J.K. Rowling and her child. <laughs> <laughs> There's a request for a Simon soundboard, which you just like press buttons and I say things that I usually say. Like you press a button and I go ah you press a button and I go follow me You press another button and I just start talking about Jaffa cakes for thirty seconds. See I'm worried about that because if you if you actually created a soundboard like that then you wouldn't need me anymore. It'd be like um the Stepford Wives <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They get the women to like read out a dictionary so that the uh the robot that they make can say anything in their voice. Uh can say anything in their voice. Except for a word that isn't in the dictionary. Which they say in a robotic voice. Uh, am I a robot again? What? No, no 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 no. But the point is that if they didn't have like if they didn't have a word that if they had to say a word that wasn't in the dictionary, what would they? What would happen to the robot? Would they still say it, but in a robotic voice, or would they? They wouldn't be able to say it. Um, it would just be like silence. So they if they like, like error four oh four word missing, would they say like that? <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. Someone would, you know, and say, oh, oh, Monica. Monica's the name of the robot. Oh, Monica, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. He's called, um, Ikebaku Ikebaku. He's come over from Kenya. And the <laughs> ro Maria, the robot, goes, Hello, it's... Oh, no, they don't say that. They speak normally. <laughs> they don't speak like a rope. That would give the game away, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hello.
<laughs> no, it is great. What if the real Maria actually did speak like a robot? It would completely fuck things up, wouldn't it? She's got like a speech impediment. Hello, I am Maria. Realistic. What do you mean? Why do you want me to read out from a dictionary? <laughs> so yeah, Maria, she go. Hello, it is nice to meet you, Mister. I hope you enjoy your visit here. <laughs> I'm an old man, and I've fallen over. I can't get up, but it's all right, because I've got me iPod, and I'm listening to the Yogpod. Oh, me back. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty funny. Oh that was very God. funny. You know, you're doing an instance or whatever, and there's a big pack of mobs. What do I do? I hit multi-shot three times, shooting three mobs. So that's like nine attacks. And then I'm out of focus. And then what? I just use steady shot on one mob. Meanwhile, the mage is fucking AoEing the shit out of everything. The rogue's bouncing around using fan of knives. The Moonkin stood at the back with this massive fucking, like, storm going on. The Shaman's using his, like, level 10 fucking AoE. And I'm just, like, shooting one target with Steady Shot until I have enough focus so I can cast Multi Shot. That's so lame. I mean, the alternative is what? I drop Explosive Trap? And it explodes for, what, 600 damage on all the mobs and then ticks for 170 or something? Wow, amazing. I mean, think of all the boss fights in which, like, a whole load of fucking mobs spawn and you have to kill them off as soon as fucking possible. And hunters can't do anything. They just have to keep shooting the boss or whatever. Although, to be fair, that's what I would do anyway. <laughs> I'd say, sorry, no, I'm not dealing with the ads on the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my uh, debuffs to drop off of it and have to re put them reapply. Oh, God. They must be adding a new AoE, because, I mean, fuck me. It pisses me off that fucking druids basically always have fucking everything. Everything. Best tank, best DPS, best healer. Oh, let's give you lots of extra spells and abilities. Oh, look, you can fly around and pick flowers at the same time because you're a little druid. Nee, you smelly face. <laughs> Hunters, what? You don't like mana? Okay, we'll get rid of it. It's gone. That's it. How do you like that, you fuckers? <laughs> Thanks, ghost crawler. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's, how they do. That's like how they deal with the problem. It's like great. Oh, cheers, mate. Awesome. I can't believe our AOE is explosive trap. And multi shot on three mobs. That's it now. That's the strength of our AoE. I don't know, they might make <sighs> multi shot hit as many as there are in the area or something, you know, instead. They might make like it a so cone it does. attack. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Do you know what I would like them to do? I would like them so that we can. The, the stable master is pretty much not really needed because you have like cool pet and admittedly you can store like 25 pets or 20 pets or yeah. whatever but you're not going to yeah. visit the stable master much what we need is like a groomer we like go into like Brianni's okay. shop or whatever her pet shop and there's like a groomer and you there's like you talk to the groomer and it opens like this this window and your pet is there the 3D model of your pet and it's like you having a haircut only the pets having the haircut and right. you can choose different That's a good idea. different styles for the pet so the pet can have like anime hair on its head can you imagine my <laughs> monkey but with that human male haircut with the spiky hair with a big head. mohawk yeah. you can give them like tattoos or piercings you can shave them naked i could have a naked monkey <laughs> running around can dye their hair, so it could be like bright pink hair. 
He looked like a give poodle. it a little handbag. <laughs> he looked like a poodle. A little, little bit of clothing. <laughs> so like his chest is all hairy and it's like bouffant and puffy and pink. And then like from the waist yeah. down he's shaved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Christ. He's got a bow in his hair. He's the prettiest monkey in all of Azeroth. Who else have we forgotten? Um, can you do can you give me something ridiculous? You know, you're gonna say old man with hemorrhoids who's riding a horse, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> can you do that? <laughs> oh God! Hang, hang on. See if I can. I want to make some kind of like noise that sounds like I'm on a horse. You need some coconuts or something. It's too tinny, isn't it? Hang on. I'm an old man with hemorrhoids. Ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! What am I doing? I'm hitting my fucking keyboard with a comb. Okay, Simon, you ready? I'm going to tell you a joke, and you're going to tell me whether you think it's I'm half hanging out the window having a fag at this exact moment, by the way. I'm going to do a few, actually. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, can you reply with laughter if you think it's funny? It's a one-liner. These are all one-liners. I've just been on a once-in-a-lifetime holiday. I'll tell you what, never again. Fucking hell. Okay, that's awful. Okay. Uh, that won the funniest joke prize from the East Year's this year's Edinburgh Fringe, <laughs> written by award-winning comic Tim Vine, and it's Tim Vine, the yeah. funniest joke this year. He's a one-liner oh, act. Yeah. The award was judged by uh, eight comedy critics, whose uh, shortlist of twenty-four jokes went forward to a public vote. Uh, would you like the next one on the list? Oh God, this is apparently not as good. It's apparently not as good. Holy shit. <laughs> but it only came number two, so yeah. Um, I'm currently dating a couple of anorexics. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, but they're not going to be half a stone each, are they? I mean, even babies weigh more than that. <laughs> uh, this one, that one was by David Gibson. I don't know who that is, but apparently oh, he's a good effort. Good effort. Uh, Emo Phillips is this next one on the list. This is um. Oh yeah, yeah. I picked up a hitchhiker. You got to when you hit them. <laughs> yeah, he's fairly funny actually. It's I quite bad. like him. This this next one was by Jack Whitehall. I bought one of those anti-bullying wristbands when they first came out. I say bought. I actually stole it off a short fat ginger kid. Uh, awful, awful. As a kid, I was made to walk the plank. We couldn't afford a dog. That's appalling. That's appalling. Being an England supporter is like being the over-optimistic parents of the fat kid on sports day. <laughs> That's good. That's... There's another pirate-related one here. What do you call a kid with no arms and an eye patch? Names. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Uh, here's another one. Dave drowned. So at the funeral we got him a wreath in the shape of a life belt. Well, it's what he would have wanted. It's what he would have wanted. That makes it. That <laughs> makes it. <laughs> For Vanessa Feltz, life is like a box of chocolates. Empty. Oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That one, that one came number nine. And you finally laughed. That's nine! Holy shit! That is nine! The last one to make the list is Gareth Richards. Wooden spoons are great. You can either use them to prepare food, or if you can't be bothered with that, just write a number on one and walk into a pub. Uh. Competition organisers Dave, TV channel, said that each judge sat through an average of 60 performances totaling 3,600 minutes of comedy material. Wow. 
That's a lot. That's a, th those are some big numbers you just said there. The judges Grief. also worked on selecting the worst jokes from this year's Fringe. Would you like to hear those? Oh, I would love to. Why did the chicken commit suicide? To get to the other side. Oh. You know city centre beat officers? Well, are they police who rap? That's great, yeah. <sighs> I made a Battenberg where the two colours ran alongside one another. I called it Apartheid Sponge. Mm. I like to play chess with bald men in the park, although it's hard to find 32 of them. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> not bad, is it? It's not oh. terrible. Some of my best friends are vegan. They were going to come today, but they didn't have the energy to climb up the stairs. Awful, awful old hack joke. Awful. How many Spaniards does it take to try and change a light bulb? Juan. Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh dear. That's a good one, isn't oh it? Dear. Do you not think that's good? It's like it's like a joke you'd find in a cracker, though. That's the problem. <laughs> Still, I think it's better than some of the ones from the top, from the top list. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, so what's been happening with you after your um, TV licence trouble? Um, a lot of people were talking about it possibly being a scam. Uh, but I don't think it was, was it? It was he was like had a uniform and a badge no. and everything, didn't he? The people who thought it was a scam don't actually know what TV license is. Yeah, I mean they just didn't understand the concept. It's unlike they thought it was a man who walked in. He was just saying, "Oh, you need? Have you got a chimney? Have you got a chimney license? <laughs> oh, that chimney! You know, you can't. You got to have a license for it." You know, it's people who didn't actually know that it was a real thing. According to our records, not, you're not, not paid chimney. your um, your fridge tax. It's quite an important tax. Do you have a fridge? Oh God. Do you have a fridge, Simon? I do. I do. I do. I do, uh, officer. Over well, in there. that case, I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna have to read you your rights. You you may be under oath to not oh say God. anything, but anything you do say under this next minute of me talking is going to be given in evidence. You oh better, shit, do you, what can I do? Can I, I don't want to get arrested. Can I see Can I see the offending fridge? Would that be alright? I just need to have a quick look at it. Check it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's sure, it's, 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 it's here in the kitchen. It's the rectangular white thing. Oh yeah, it's I've got seen one the of these. In. This is a fridge. Yeah, you've got a fridge in your kitchen. This is a fridge, that's right. Yeah. That's right, you know your fridges, you certainly I do. I do. I've had um, years I thought of, this, of fridge I thought you might just tax. be just some random man. No, like, no, I can no. see that you're Government. like an expert in Look fridges. Look at my badge here. It's made of plastic and stuff. It's, That's got, a, it's got my name on it. Look. It says five today. Oh, what? It says no, five no, today. No, wrong badge, badge. Wrong badge. <laughs> this one. There you go. All oh, right. Okay. There you go. Oh, the badge over there. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, badge there. Yeah. That one, that one yeah. that's pinned on to my... Uh, next to the uh, Yogg's cast... Uh, best podcast badge. You see it? Your pod best best podcast oh, badge. Good, yeah, it's a it's lovely made. badge. It's a great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. So, you you got any money to pay this tax? It's uh, I. It's quite expensive. Um, oh god, let's let's look in my wallet. Uh, I've got. Let's see. One, I have one pound eighty. Um, Ooh. <laughs> how much Ooh. is the fridge tax? It's uh, forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Oh God, I don't have. I can't afford it. Um, one pound eighty. That, that is a lovely. That is a lovely lamp you've got there, though. I do like that lamp. It's that's it's an antique that lamp. Um, also, I recently went on Antiques Roadshow. Do you play World of Warcraft? I went to Antiques Roadshow. I take World of Warcraft pets. <laughs> Let as me payment. talk, you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I went to Antiques. Ro <laughs> I went to Antiques Roadshow, and they valued. Um, Did you that lamp? At, um, forty-nine. Good lads. Forty-nine Good pounds, lads. and uh, no, actually forty-eight pounds something. 
basically it's worth oh okay it's worth one pound eighty less than the amount that you just said that the the fridge tax is. perfect um perfect i'll take maybe it we then. can work something out yeah you well t- i'll take the take lamp. this lamp and i'll uh, give you all the money i've got in my wallet okay all right that'll cover you. i'll or write it down it. let me type it into this electronic machine i've got here okay <laughs> Yeah, I've typed it in. Um, uh, that's, that's a Nintendo uh, DS. No, no, no. That... It's hooked up to the uh, the central fridge tax network of uh, of England. I mean, I know yeah. it's got like a touch screen and a stylus, but that is just a Nintendo DS. Oh no, no, no! You might have heard the little startup sound, but that's not that is not anything. To do with that was the Mario music. No startup sound to the fridge tax. Uh, fridge I'm pretty tax sure. Software. I mean, I've played quite, Mario quite, quite a good bit. software. Actually, it detects uh, fridges. Oh right. See, that's how I came here. Really, I, I this thing, this thing told me the that you taxed. were you had yeah. no fridge tax. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, oh God. Well, you caught me bang to right. Yeah. There. Thanks. Thanks for this lamp. Though this is good. I mean, we do take. Like I was trying to say. Yeah, mind how you go with World that. World of Warcraft quite payments for you know pets, in-game stuff. If you've, uh, if you're right. to give one of those to uh, to me, but it's, but that's obviously. Uh, you accept Pandaren as currency. We do, we do, we accept all kind of uh, all kind of vanity it's about pet time. related. It's about time uh, all places did items. that. That's good. Good. All right. Well, see you then. Mate, thank you, and uh, and I will I will make sure you're paid okay. up for the next uh, next few months. And, uh, thank you, and uh, again, I'm I'm really sorry. I'm sorry we didn't right. pay the the Lots of people tax. forget. I'm sorry it's, about that. I didn't realise it was a real thing. It's new. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a new it's a new thing. Okay. We take care. Love you, you. too, man. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry, did you just swear? (laughs) (laughs) I still got the door open. Sorry, (laughs) sorry. I'll just close it now. (laughs) Can you do... Oh. Scientists say artificial meat may be necessary to feed 9 billion people expected by 2050. I'm going to grow meat in vats. Isn't that utterly fucking revolting? Meat grown in vats. I mean, Jesus so a vegetarian Christ. Yeah. Why don't you just eat, like, corn and... What's it called? Mactopro- Mactoprotein. Mac- Micto. Muktu? What? What? <laughs> <coughs> Muktu. What? Ma- macroprotein. Macroprotein? It's not macroprotein. Is it? Is it? No. What are you saying? It's stuff like corn. Mycoprotein. M Y C O. Mycoprotein. <sighs> That's what it is. Comes from fungus. Because myco just means fungus. So, protein yeah. from fungus. See, that's the stuff you could use instead of fucking vats of meat. I mean, f- what? Well, what can you imagine what that would look like? A vat of meat. This is what, um... A major ac- academic assessment of future global food supplies led by John Beddington, UK government chief scientist, suggests that with new technologies such as genetic modification and nanotechnology, hundreds of millions of people may still go hungry. And then there's a set of 21 papers published by the Royal Society saying, oh, we're all going to starve... One in seven people don't have enough protein and energy, blah, blah, blah. It still hasn't gotten to the vat bit. 
Blah 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 blah. Still no mention of a vat of meat. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Here we go. Dr. Philip Thornton, scientist with the International Livestock Research Institute in Nairobi, says two wild cards could transform global meat and milk production. One is artificial meat, which is made in a giant vat. Meat grown in vats by 2050. That is such a ridiculous fucking headline, isn't it? <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Tina Barrett, formerly of S Club 7. I still have yet to release my, my debut solo album because it's not really going very well. But um, in the meanwhile, I like to listen to the Yog Pod. Oh, it's, it's really good. Oh, Lewis and Simon are really amazing. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why I said goodbye there. <laughs> I, just, I just felt like it was polite. It's been a long, long time. It's been a long time since we did the last Yog Pod. It's been a long wait. And the wait is finally over. I'm not very good at singing. I keep going. <laughs> I'm moving. God, Enterprise music is oh, it's awful, isn't it? It's awful. What were they thinking? Mm. It's supposed to be a sci-fi show about aliens and shooting lasers and stuff. And that's the best they could come up with. So I'm... Um, so it's half past ten. It's half ten. You're in your room. I'm in my room. My bare room. PM, by the way, Yognauts. Mm-hmm. PM. Um. I'm uh, I'm sitting on a bare bed because I just washed my bed clothes, and they're still wet. Um, oh, did you today? From ten hours oh, ago, right. whatever. They're still wet. <laughs> Amazing. So you did all of your washing today, and you adorned mm. the house like yeah. you covered every radiator with your pants. Yeah. And your all the radiators are covered in my pants, my towels, every, my hoodies, every chair. The back T-shirts, every, every... more pants. Oh God! Another pair of pants. There's a pair of trousers hanging off of a lamp. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> a pair of trousers hanging off of a lamp. Uh, and um, your housemate, your new newish housemate, yeah. Simon Rickards. Newish mate. Can we yeah. say his full name? I oh, don't say his full oh, name. Shit, sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> He's come home. Um, they. Uh... Yeah, he brought a lady back. He's got a lady downstairs right now. And she's like looking at my pants and going, <laughs> Oh, those are some nice pants. I wonder whose those are. <laughs> are those your pants? Has he had to like move? And he's going to go, No, no. Has he had to move all of your pants so she can like free no, up nothing's some space been moved. On, the, um, on the sofa? Uh, no. Oddly enough, I didn't put my pants on the fucking sofa. Why would I put my <laughs> pants on the sofa? Well, every spare... Is it, are they like hanging off the TV? I'm just a bit worried <laughs> where they are. I mean... Are they, how many of your pants are they going to have to move? Not every single available surface is covered with my pants. Your Lewis. pants, you did a, you did, a, you washed all of your pants though, pretty much. Didn't yeah. You? So. Yeah. Um. So that's like all three pairs. That's a lot. <laughs> 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 They're like all Superman pants as well. Oh no, there's a Superman pair, there's a Spider-Man pair, and there's a Batman pair. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I, I wear them for like a few days. You've got Superman a duvet each. cover as well and Superman wallpaper. No, don't be ridiculous. I've got a, um, I've got a Miley Cyrus bed cover. <laughs> Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, best of both worlds bed cover. Um, I've got posters of the Jonas Brothers. Oh, man. I and, love the Jonas um, Brothers. And JLS. Have you got any um, Bieber uh, merchandise? I don't have the Bieber fever, no, no. Okay. My mother did buy me a pencil case of Justin Bieber, but uh-huh. I, I threw it away. <laughs> in the Why did you do that? No, I didn't. I didn't throw it away. That would be a terrible waste. I gave it to Oxfam. <laughs> uh, okay. The shop. That's very generous And they, of they you. took it off of me. The old lady smiled at me, because it's always an old lady who works in Oxfam. Mm. It's always an old lady. She looked at me... She said, oh, thank you very much, because she's a Londoner. She said, thank you very much. And she put a little sticker on it, and it said 10p. Aww. And I looked at her, 
and I looked at the sticker, I looked at her, and I looked her right in the eye, and I said, are you fucking kidding me? My mother bought that for me, it was ten quid, and you've put a fucking sticker on it for ten p. You piece of shit. And I looked her in the eye, and I spat at her. Oh it's my true god. Story. It's exactly well, what there happened. There you go. Oh dear. Anyway, so I was wondering, like, what if Rickard started getting, like, hot and heavy with this lady down in the lounge? And, oh, um... He could be doing that right now, although I think it's more likely they're eating pizza and potato wedges because he just cooked some. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, later, though, imagine that they're, they're oh, getting, God. you know, a bit of Awkward, kissy action going on. And then... Mm, I will imagine, Lewis. I will imagine. But then they sort of start... Mm. They push over the lamp by accident, and your Superman pants mm. fall onto... Your, sorry, your wet Superman pants fall onto their face. <laughs> um, yeah... Well, that would be the most action my pants have seen in quite some time, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. Apart from that time you saved that woman from the burning building, you know. Yeah, but to be fair, I did set the building on fire myself, <laughs> so... She wasn't too happy when I saved her, you know, it was sort of expected, really. Um... It's like when you bump into someone and you knock their drink over, you know, it's expected that you buy them another drink. It's the same thing when you set a building on fire. You're expected to save everyone. Ugh. Oh, so I'm doing this quest. I'm doing, um, Rain's cle Cleansing in Ashenvale. Mm -hmm. Um, because this quest is going to be gone from the game in about 36 hours time of recording. <laughs> so... I'm kind of it's anxious to get my cleansing. magical mm -hmm. rain rains cleansing. Mhm. Mm you get a um the rod that turns you into a furball. 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 So I wanted to get one before it's gone from the game forever. Probably a good idea. So I never bothered to get it on my hunter. Never bothered. Couldn't be asked. But now it's like a do or die situation. Mm. Um, I will die IRL if I don't get it. That's okay. Well, we can That's carry on saying. recording this stuff. I mean, uh, we haven't done a yog pod for mm. a while, obviously. I just thought I'd let people know. You know, if I seem a bit distracted. That's okay. You know, yeah. that's Thanks the reason for... why. Because I'm that's killing. Well, I mean, we're recording this thing. I've, for the, I've got. For the there's a big we... challenge. There's, there's a big a... challenge ahead of me. I've got to kill level 20 murlocs. Yeah. It's, um, you know, I mean, this is difficult stuff. Okay. Well, I'll just carry oh, on, shall I? A pair of canvas pants, just then. Right. Uh, just keeping you up to date of all the drops. <laughs> well, let me know. Uh, a Murloc get it. Finn. Uh, drop. Okay, I will. I will. Um, I was just going to say, uh, obviously, like, we, we haven't done a podcast mm -hmm. for a while, and a lot of people have been very kind and donating. Mm. And so what I thought we'd do yeah. is, we'd some we'd, we'd, we'd obviously keep the, the EP thing going, um, as it is, so whoever do Ooh. donates the most by the next podcast, you know, will be the EP. But also, we will uh, have it so if anyone ends up donating more than £100 in total, they get to be EP as well. Because we've noticed that, you know, a few people have given us regular donations and it's totaled up to, like, you know, over £100. Mm. Uh, in total, so I kind of feel that we should reward those people with EP as well. Ridiculous amounts um, of money, really fantastic. It's like it's amazing. Three times as much as we're getting from YouTube. So it's kept you know, us these going. People are like, it's kept us yeah. going because we're not getting all that much money from YouTube. Not right now, anyway. It takes a while for it to sort of you know build up and for the money to actually come in. So this has kept us going, and it's been very, um, very, very welcome indeed. Yeah. It meant that I could actually afford rent, which was which was good. So thanks, <laughs> you're you're paying for me to live. I mean, I've obviously been devoting a lot of my time towards this, you know, making the catechism videos and stuff, and, and you know, we're kind of considering doing this sort of thing full time. Uh, and if that happens, you know, we will obviously be able to put out podcasts and videos much more regularly, um, and have them come out reliably every couple of weeks or or maybe even weekly um but but i mean we oh, we God. do have to don't even say that <laughs> weekly a weekly yog pod we haven't done one in like 4 well, months you've or been something. thinking about taking over oh, the God. editing haven't yeah. you yeah yeah but we should we don't have to do like an hour like we usually do Ten minutes. we could do like you know 
half an hour on a Saturday, mm. and then you could you could do the editing during the week, and then you know that would be released. You know that would be a slick way of doing it. See, this this is more a discussion between the two of us, mm. and not for like any listeners. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not going to do anything. So, and if I say it on the p- podcast, though, it might force you How to do How dare you? Well, anyway, look, thank you very, very, very much for your donations. Uh, who are the EPs? Mm. Oh, you're killing Murlocs. But I guess you can look up who the EPs are um, for this week. Yeah. I have got. I have been collecting some, some guff. So this podcast is going to be made out of guff from, like, the last couple of months. So this will this will have some stuff in it. Um, there's going to be three yeah. of them. Three of them. Yeah. Okay. Our th- our three executive producers and Super 100 Crazy Donators Club members. That's what I've decided to call them. The Super 100 Crazy Donators Club. Okay. They are Colin Smith, Joachim Setterberg, mm-hmm. and Johan Snit. Oh man, so... These are three of the nicest people I've ever had the privilege of receiving donations from uh, on the internet. So these are now members of the um, exclusive the magnificent. Executive Producer Club. I think there's about, how many are there, seven yeah. or eight now in total? Or is it more than that? Um, um, these these are the, the super people who have actually donated ridiculously large amounts of money. So they they are like... They're like in a league of their own. That's how I, I yeah. think of it. Yeah, and we are going to start sending they're out... They're a terrible stuff. movie starring Madonna. You're going to get some Christmas presents from us. Um, and you're also... Are you definitely going to send them stuff? Yeah. We're going to send some Christmas presents out to the EPs. There's some cracking stuff in this... Yeah. In this care package, there's some top Jogpod notch merchandise. stuff. Yeah, you won't want to miss out on that. So yeah, the people who... It's not official merchandise... It's sort of appropriated. Um, of course, it's official. From oh, is it official? It doesn't have like our logos or or anything well, on it. We made like, it, so it is stuff. kind of official. We, we you know it's licensed by us. It's not it's like the only stuff. It's not the like only made stuff we've by ever China signed. Some like fake knockoff Yogpod stuff, like with the Yog- word Yogpod spelt wrong, like Dogpod <laughs> or something. Can you imagine that? You like go to a marketplace and there's all this knockoff Yogpod gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the hell? It's all like, yes. Yeah, Simon so and Lewis, like furious. the pictures of us oh. are like, you know, a blonde-haired Jacob-style guy from uh, Twilight, and like, oh god, yeah, it's Edward and Jacob, <laughs> but it has our names yeah. underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, thanks. I mean, thanks for the support, fans, and I hope you enjoy this Yog Pod special. Yog Pod. Um, why is it special exactly? Uh, is it special because it's the first one we've done in like forever? Well, okay. Well, that's fairly special, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's the start of something beautiful because after this one, after this one, you're going to be editing them. Oh, also, can we crikey. talk about a few things that we were going to talk about in this what podcast? Were, what were we going to talk about? Um, okay, BBC News. I've bookmarked it. It was right. a story from the 28th of October. Oh my god! Uh, about how the pronunciation of British words has changed. Oh right. Pronunciation, pronunciation. Mm-hmm. Do you remember this one? Do you remember this link? Perchance has the word pronunciation changed over the course of the years. Perchance, I'm not sure actually. Perchance. Uh, would you? Could you look in the, the comment of mine and, and give me a rundown of the uh, the article? H or H? How do you pronounce H? Which obviously doesn't really work if you read out uh, that headline. Mm. Well, but no, I mean, the letter H, we say so, H, don't we? We don't... I mean, mm. the, the H is, is H. silent. H. <laughs> the... The... You're saying the H in H <laughs> is silent. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. What is that? So, yeah, the article is basically the British Library of... Um, they've got nothing better to do. So they're uh, they're checking on how words used to be pronounced because it turns out that how we pronounce words today are very different from how we used to pronounce them in yesteryear. Well, at least on the BBC. Um, on the BBC, we used to pronounce words properly. None of this mm. nonsense about, you know, using 
using H's and all that nonsense. We had proper words mm. and proper grammar. None of this shilly shallying about. Shilly shallying. <laughs> shilly shallying. Good grief. But yeah, there was a particular way that people had to talk um, on the BBC many years ago, and that was like the standard. And you you wouldn't get any work if you talked like a normal person, a normal human being. Mm. Um, it's called <laughs> received pronunciation, or RP. That's the classic sort of BBC voice. Mm. Mm. It's the royal family's sort of way of speaking. Basically the way Total Biscuit tries to speak. No, it's, <laughs> it's the opposite of that, I think, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? It's more to do with... Um, <laughs> Just, it's just uh, extremely posh, isn't it? Extremely British and correct. And um, mm, royal. Yeah. It's royal. Very proper, isn't it? Very the proper. The only people who really speak that way are very posh people in England these days. And people who actually are on telly, on radio. One exhibit is the BBC's Guide to Pronunciation from 1928. It informs announcers that pristine rhymes with wine. Respite is pronounced as if there were no E. Combat is what you do when you fight with someone. I'm sorry? You, yes, we are you, engaged in mortal combat. Mortal combat! Like the game. Mortal combat! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combat. Uh, That's ridiculous. If you were that engaged in ridiculous. banking, you would be in finance. Finance? And what additionally... Uh, if you if you were a a lady staying at home uh, whilst her husband went to work and you did all of the That's what housework, ladies do. Yeah. you would That's be what they're supposed to do. Uh, That's what they're bred for, Lewis. Uh, Woman oh must God, know so her you'd place. Be a hus- husif. That's what you would be. A husif. A husif. Yes. Housewife a... is pronounced pronounced. See, I don't even know how to pronounce words properly. Husif. Good God. I need this guide, Lewis. I need to read this guide. Isn't that bonkers? That was only in 1928. Only in 1928? Yeah, it was virtually yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. 1928. <laughs> that was before Hitler rose to power. I mean, for God's sake, that was a long time ago. Mm. Oh. I don't know about that side. God, I can only imagine Paul Rickards is downstairs trying to get it on with this girl, and you can just hear me shouting at you on the internet. Recording of your <laughs> oh god! Do you reckon if like you shout loud enough, the uh, pants that are hanging on the the door will will fall loose? <laughs> it's a pair of jeans that are hanging off of the door. Just, Lewis. Like, it's, it's a pair of jeans on his pizza. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible. So yeah, very odd. Very odd how people. The thing is, it's, oh, I'm not even going to say that. I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to say the thing is. <laughs> Christ almighty. <laughs> You've been saying that more and more often. And Hannah's been saying it, and I've been saying it. I think we've just been, I think we've just been noticing it. I don't think we've been saying it more often. I think we've just been noticing ourselves saying it. I mean, it. what happens is one person will say it, and then someone else will start saying it, and it sort of catches on. And it becomes sort of like mimetic. And people just, I mean, Mm. we've had, like, emails from people and, you know, comments on YouTube saying that they've started to talk like us because they've watched and listened to so many things that we've done. There are people out there who are actually starting to talk as we talk. Oh, no, I don't think they talk as we talk. They probably just use certain things which I... They do. Like, certain mannerisms, though, like the way we call people friend and calling babies babbies, that kind of thing. Just that sort of small stuff. Mm. I don't think they're actually like <laughs> talking like you. They do. And start going going into Brian Blessed on like a five minute They road start up. doing like the terrible um, dwarven Scottish voice. <laughs> Follow me They start saying that. <laughs> they talk like that. They'll be in like Asda buying grapes and milk hmm. and at the checkout, you know, they hand over the money. They go, thank you very much! Like that, out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they're like Lithuanian or something, and they don't have that sort of accent at all, they'll just mm. break out into that strange That's voice. It's terrifying. Um... It is. It is. So how do you pronounce schedule? 
according to this guide. Oh, is it? Uh, is it? No, I think it's schedule. Schedule, not, not schedule. Schedule. There is no K. Mm. No K in schedule. What are you talking something about? Something I, mm. something I noticed. There was, there was an so old. Herb. There was like this. Um, there herb. was a game show, Lewis. Herb. Fifteen to one. Herb. Do you remember that with William G. Stewart? Oh. God. Fifteen to one. Boom, 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 boom. Fifteen to one, um, which there were fifteen people, uh, fifteen contestants, and it was sort of whittled down to one, wasn't it? Hence, fifteen to one. Mm. Um, it was mostly featuring old people and watched by yeah, old people. Yeah, and students, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, all the contestants were old yeah. people. <clears throat> but I remember. It's kind of a weird demographic, isn't it? It's like the countdown demographic, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's good, yes. Um, and I remember William G. Stewart, whenever he would ask a question about something that was on, on the stage, he would always pronounce the word theatre, like that. Theatre. Oh, God. Not theatre, he would say theatre. And that, you know, that used, Darling, used to drive me balmy. we must go to the theatre. The theatre. That is pretty annoying. Oh my god. Okay. Um, Thank you all for being so patient with us and waiting for this. Obviously we've been very busy with the Cataclysm beta. Um, I'm really sorry that we haven't been more up to date with the podcast. I'm sorry. And thank you all very much for keeping subscribed and supporting us for all this time. I love you. Also Banana, I love you. Who's Banana? I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you. And farewell. I was asked to say that. By who? Uh, a banana. Just <laughs> a random person who whispered me 